Welcome to my zone online school. My name is teacher Mutsa. Get your education booklet in our daily newspaper, street sales, or at your school every Monday to Thursday for pre-primary up until grade three. The lessons are for listening or watching online. Inside the newspapers, there is an insert of the lesson booklet. Please cut the top of the lesson booklet with a pair of scissors and fold it for ready to use. But there is more. We are also available on our online platforms, MyZone and Zoshi Facebook pages, and in addition, our website, Zoshi Online. Welcome to My Zone Online School. My name is Teacher Mutsa and thank you so much for joining me today. Our theme this week is Spring and Animals. And before we get into any lessons, my dear friends, we know that we need to sanitize. So let's take our sanitizer and sing our special sanitizing song. Sanitize every day so the germs can stay away sanitize every day so the germs can stay away yay good job everyone for today's lesson we'll be talking about rhyming words place value and labeling animals for our first task for our lesson today let's all turn to page nine on page nine we're going to be doing some reading but not just any reading boys and girls we're going to be doing some rhyming words now it's going to be our job to read the words in each of the fish bowls and then we circle the words that rhyme with the fish. So you are going to have your pencil and I'm going to help you by reading with you. Any word that you hear that rhymes with the fish, I'd like you to circle it. We're going to do the first fish together where it says fan, fan, fan. Let's begin. Had, fan. Tan, fan. Ran, fan. Can, fan. Van, fan. Jab, fan. Pit, fan. Sat, fan. Log, fan. Can, fan. Did you manage to circle all your words? Well done! So the words that actually rhyme with fan are tan, ran, can, and van. Well done! Now I'm going to leave the rest of the fish balls for you. So take your time boys and girls and read out loud. If you're not sure what the word is supposed to sound like, that's okay, sound it out first and then you blend the letters together. If it's still too hard, you can always ask an adult to help you. I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. 
Follow us on My Zone Facebook, Active Kids, to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. Boys and girls, let's start our lesson by going to page 10. On page 10, we are going to be doing place value. Now, place value is when we put the numbers according to the value that they have. And when we do this, we are using our tens and our units. We're going to do the first one together where we have the number 14. And it's our job to place the digits in the correct spaces. After that, they've given us the place value, but we need to find the actual number. So let's do the first one together and then one of the reverse ones together. Now, the place value has already been put. Tens and units. I want you to remember that Mr. Tens always stands in front of Mrs. Units. So when they walk, he's the one that's in front. For the number 14, we are going to say that the one is here as Mr. Tent's friend because he is the one that is standing in front. And then units, we are going to say four. Well done, everyone. Now it's actually complete. So when we read the sentence, it says 14 equals one tens and four units. So we know that we have broken them down in their place values. The one is with the tens and the four is with the units. Now I'm sure it'll be easier for you. After that, they want us to do the reverse of what they have just done. They have given us two tens and three units. So instead of separating them in their place values, now we're going to put them together and using the same rule. Remember, Mr. Tens likes to stand in front. So whatever is our tens here, that's the first number we are going to write. So here we will write two. And then for the next one, we have Mrs. Units. And how many does she have? Three. Good job. So we have our number and our number says 23 equals two tens and three units. So take your time with this one, boys and girls. Remember the simple rule that will help you. Mr. Tens likes to stand in front of Mrs. Units. Have fun, and I'll see you when we're done after the advert break. Do you have children in the age range of five to six years and want to participate in our school booklet program? Please contact us on 081 and we will put you on our distribution list for the attention of pre-primary schools. Topics include family, summer, culture, traditions and houses, transport and communications, occupations, autumn, and more. We distribute countrywide in over 10 different languages. Boys and girls, let's move on by going to page 11. On page 11, we are going to be doing some labeling. Now, labeling is when we actually say what the picture is using words. It's going to be our job to look at the pictures and then label the animals in the boxes that we can see. Below our animals, we have a English box. Now that one is going to help us with all the names of the animals. Let's read what it says. Please repeat after me. We have the words cat, bird, Dog, duck, cow, monkey, pig, horse, giraffe, lion, tiger, fish. Well done, everyone. Good job. So these are the words that we have to put to the right animal. 
Now I'm going to only help you with three of the animals with a song. I'm sure some of you know Old MacDonald. Yes, Old MacDonald. And it tells us about the different animals that Old MacDonald has on his farm. So we're going to start with the three that we have on the board. So let's take a look. I have three animals on the board and I've actually helped you by putting their names. We have the dog, duck, and fish. And Old MacDonald on his farm has these three animals amongst a lot more. So we're going to start by saying, Old MacDonald had a farm. And you say, E-I-E-I-O. Now, I'm going to point at you when it's your turn to actually say that. And then I want you to do the animal sounds that they make. Okay? Some, well, I'm not sure what this one's going to do, but I think we can just swim, swim, swim. Swim, swim, swim. This one says, quack, 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 quack. And this animal says, or rather box by saying woo 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 woo. So these are the three that we're gonna do. Are you ready? Okay, let's go. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some dogs, E-I-E-I-O, with a woof woof here and a woof woof there, here woof there woof everywhere woof woof. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some ducks, E-I-E-I-O, with a quack quack here and a quack quack there, here quack there quack everywhere quack quack. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O, and on that farm he had some fish, E-I-E-I-O, with a swim swim here and a swim swim there, here swim there swim everywhere swim swim. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Well done, everyone. Good job. So, the rest of the animals is going to be your job to fill in. If you're not sure, start with the ones that you already know, like the fish, the duck, and the dog. And then when you're done, you can ask an adult to help you with the more difficult ones. Take your time, have fun naming and labeling the animals, and I'll see you when you're done after the advert break. Follow us on My Zone Facebook Active Kids to watch your daily lesson and other fun activities with Zoe and Zoshi. We have now come to the end of our lesson, but I know that you had fun with me today. Remember, if you're not sure what to do, you can always ask an adult for help, but just make sure that you finish your work by yourselves. So now that we're done with our exercises, we need to sanitize our hands. Remember, we sanitize to try and keep not just ourselves, but everyone around us safe. So sanitize every time you can and remind the people around you to sanitize as well. Make sure your hands are dry before you touch anything else. I think I saw a little blue head sneaking up on me. <laughs> Hello, Sashi. How are you? I'm sure you had a nice day. Wonderful. So, from Sashi and I, we would like to say thank you for joining us today. And goodbye. Our online school will help you along the way. Find us at www.zoshi.online and download the booklet. Follow us on Facebook to never miss a video. Subscribe to our Zoshi Telegram channel if you want to receive daily updates. Proudly sponsored by the Ministry of Education, Arts and Culture, Namibian Community Trust, UNICEF, MyZone Online School, Amos Mirket Syllabus and Capricorn Foundation.